Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing fine. Today this video is going to be about NEET MDS counseling which is going to happen. I was getting a lot of personal messages from students who were asking me to explain the counseling procedure and they had many doubts. So I hope that I could clear many doubts through this video. You know, replying someone personally is just one to one help. But if you create a video and you let everybody know about it, I think many, many students can be benefited. So with that hope, I am creating this video and I hope that you find this helpful. Most of the queries were regarding the admission to private colleges and students had a lot of doubt, which I will try to clear with the help of this video. So please share this video with your friends, your colleagues, your juniors or seniors who are appearing for the online counseling. This will definitely help them. Okay. Now, first of all, we need to visit this website that is nbe.edu.in. This is the link nbe.edu.in. Now, this page will open. Here we can see we have the information bulletin here. You can download and read everything if you haven't already. And here we have Neat MDS. Click on this. This page will open. Here we have important announcement. Keep on checking this from time to time because here you get all the important notices from the National Board of Examination, NBE. Okay. Now this is the newest notice we have. And this is regarding the cutoff marks for 2020. You can see for general it is 286 this time. For STSC this is 250 and so on. Okay. So checking the notice board is very important. First thing you should do every day from today till you get the admission. Now, here you can see we have this applicant login, right? Click on this. Here I have a dummy credential. So I'll just log in. And when we log in, we get the same notification. You might have got earlier when you submitted your application form that is your application form has submitted successfully just close it now many students had this doubt also that where do they find their scorecard so here it is like just next to the hall ticket okay just click on it here you will see download and then you can download here it is downloaded you can open it and your rank will be displayed okay now once you know that you have qualified or you are above the cutoff, like you have qualified even for the private college. Congratulations. And now I will tell you how do you apply for online counseling. This is specifically for all those students who were wanting admission in private colleges and were asking me, sending me personal messages that how do they approach the college. Now these details which I am going to share is specifically for those students who were approaching me and telling me what shall I do, shall I approach the college, give them a token money. The answer is straight away no. The college has no power to give you admission in any of its seat. And that is the truth. Don't give your token money to a college and waste your money. You will get your seat only via the online counseling and the result that is declared based on your marks. Okay, so if you do not get a seat this way, that is through online procedure. No college can provide you any seat no matter how much money you give the college. So, first thing, don't give any token money to college. Even if they try to bluff you by saying that we have only one seat left, all others are booked. You know, students have come up to us, they have given us the token money. So, you also give us token money so that we can book your seat. This is not in their hands. They just want money from you, which they will not refund later or they will make you run thousands of time before you can actually get your own money back. So let me tell you the procedure. This is specially applicable for the UP state counseling and the students who want admission in the private college. I will tell you how the private colleges try to fool the students into paying them or they make false promises which they do not fulfill later on after the admission and so on. Right. So you have got the result, you have passed, congratulations. 
The next thing is that keep on checking the notice board. You will get the dates for the registration of the counseling. Register for the counseling and you have to pay the security money. This payment is also made online using your card, debit card or online banking. So this money will go to the DGME. This is a body that is handling all the counseling procedure. Okay, so you are depositing the security money. I think last year it was 1.5 lakh. You have to check for this year. It will be similar. Now the thing with the security money is that it is refundable but with terms and condition applied. I will clear this as we move further in the video. Now, once you have paid the security money, they will tell you a date for locking your college. This locking will also be online. You have to log in to the website. They will give you the details and then you have to select your college. Let us suppose we have a college ABC and you want the department of endodontics. Then we have BCD college and you want department of prosthodontics. So this is your first preference. This is your second preference. Okay. Similarly, you can put a number of preferences, 10, 20 different colleges, you know, depending on your choice. So the first preference is the one that you want the most. And the last one is the one that you want the least. Now, after this, you will wait for the results to be announced. In the result, depending on your marks, right, you will be allotted a seat. Like if this college ABC had five seats in department of endo and all the five students who preferred this had more marks than you, you will not get this seat. You will get the second one. So you got the point, right? So when I said earlier that do not deposit any token money to the college, I said because of this reason. Everything, your seat allotment depends on how many students are applying for the seat and how much marks they have in comparison to your marks. So don't waste your money by giving a so-called token money that is not official, that is black money. Don't give that to the college. Okay, they cannot grant any seat to you. That's not up to them. It is that governing body, DGME, that will handle everything. Now, let us suppose your score were better than like many of these and you got this seat. Okay, now you will be asked to report to the college within 3-4 days and report to them. So, you just have to report to the college giving your willingness that you want to join. You don't have to deposit the tuition money here in the college. The tuition money will be deposited where? In the Center for Offline Counseling. In Uttar Pradesh, one of them is KGMC. It is the university where you will be asked to bring all your documents. They will tell you what documents they need. Be this mark sheet, Aadhaar card and whatever. I just don't have the entire list with me right now. But they will tell you what all they need. You have to take all the documents, your scorecard, everything. To this, let us suppose KGMC is your center. And in addition, you have to take a demand draft and deposit here. Not to the college, but here. Here also there is a catch. The college might tell you that you have to deposit the entire tuition fee to DGME and this 1.5 lakh will be refunded to you. That is right, but we have a better way. What you can do, you can, let us suppose Endo had 4 lakh fee. What you can do, you can subtract 1.5 lakh from 4 lakh. What is left? 2.5 lakh. You can make a DD of 2.5 lakh and visit this counseling you know, center. There you will get a form which will say that I want my security money to be adjusted in this tuition money and I will not demand the college to refund this because obviously it is adjusted. So do this. Don't block your money because what the colleges do or they might do is that when they get the refund after the counseling is over, they will not give it to you. What they will say that we will adjust this in the second year fee. So you are blocking your 1.5 lakhs for one year. And why they are doing this? Because they get interest from the bank by keeping this money in their own account. So if like a college has 40 seats, 
and they have 1.5 lakh of each student like 40 students you can imagine the amount of interest the college is getting so this is their aim they want interest so they will not give you so i would suggest you that make a dd by subtracting this amount and then visiting the center one thing i would like to tell you this information that i'm giving you is 100 percent true okay but at each step you have to always see the notice you have to visit the counseling center and know from them don't believe the college blindly and even don't believe me blindly why i'm saying this because i am telling you the truth based on 2019 counseling okay but this year there might be some changes but whatever i am telling you is very genuine and this will help you avoid a lot of trouble especially with the token money and with this dd one more thing many colleges will promise you many things before you take the admission always make sure that you take that in a written format take their consent whatever they promise you in written form have a proof of everything they promise you so here you will deposit the dd congratulations you got the admission and now you have to wait for the session to start you have to visit your college again and do some formalities they will ask you to fill some form they will need your photographs and many other things they will tell you and then they might ask you to deposit a security money to the college so what you can do if you have done bds from the same college and you have receipt of it just take that receipt and ask them to adjust the security money in that the new security money can be adjusted with the security money you had already paid and they have not refunded you i know some colleges who have done this so this is about the first counseling the people who appear for the first counseling they have an advantage what advantage like if i had five preferences and i got the preference three and i kind of changed my mind now i don't want it what i can do i can give up the seat and appear for the counseling too at this point your security money which was i told you now refundable but with terms and condition so when you appear for the second counseling your money will still be safe 1.5 lakh money or security money will still be safe and that you will be getting right but if you appear for the second counseling and you locked a b c and you got b you have to take admission in b if you don't take admission in b in counseling 2 your 1.5 lakh money will not be refunded they will they will put penalty on you okay so second counseling is very risky whatever college you put in second counseling be very sure of that college go to the college beforehand get reviews about the college take written proof from the college about the tuition fee whatever everything should be with you as a proof and then lock the college in second counseling and then take the admission because after you have logged it if you have logged it blindly you cannot go back unless you forget your security money okay so don't do that now many students are there who have not qualified for the first counseling what will happen in the second counseling the cutoff score which was i think 286 for general it will be still lowered so many students will be qualified for second counseling so they have the same risk their second counseling though it is the first counseling for them but they still have the same risk they have to lock the college very attentively be very sure of the college you're locking and keep in mind that if you get any of the college you lock you have to take admission otherwise your money will be forfeited now the ones who appear for the first counseling they can also give up and they can avoid the counseling too and they will get the refund means many students are there they will say that i will apply next year i will give exam again the next year so what they can do they can appear for the first counseling if they get a college they don't actually want that college or they change their mind they can get the money back that will be refunded and they can not take any admission that is also an option now we have the mop up round in the mop up round that is offline counseling that is not online counseling you will have to visit a center kgmc for example 
and there will be many colleges who will have a list of all the seats that are still empty and there you can negotiate with them you can have all the details and you can take admission on the spot in mop up round so no online thing in the mop up round okay so i think better than second is the mop up because here you can if you're not sure you can actually put your hard earned money 1.5 lakh at stake but in mop up you can go to the university see the colleges left if you like a college take admission if not your money will be refunded that is a plus point so i hope that all the details i have given you in this video is helpful for you and please do share this video with everybody you know all your batchmates all your juniors seniors who have given the exam or who are going to give an exam next year this will be very helpful and this will prevent the college from taking undue advantage from the innocent students right so many points i have told you keep that in mind check the notice every day from today till you get a seat in a college don't give any token money to any college that will not give you seat for sure in the first counseling you have the option either to appear for the second counseling and change your college or not appear for the second counseling and take your security money back or take admission in the college and study okay for the second counseling people it is a risky matter you have to lock very carefully because once you lock you have no way out you have to either take admission or forget about your security money that will be gone and then mop up i told you also dd demand draft you can subtract the security money in the demand draft and then deposit it in the counseling center and they will ask you to fill up that form that you want your security money to be adjusted in the tuition fee okay so i hope that all these points will help you if you have any questions any doubt do let me know in the comment section below or you can also ask me personally i will be happy to reply if you want to make more videos on this any specific thing you want to know do let me know i will try to do it as well finally if i helped you today do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because as i always say the numbers motivates me to create more videos of this kind till we meet next time take care allah hafiz